Okay guys, there's my giant cold Robbie. Getting ready to take it in to go get an official record, a weight on it. So let's cut it off here and uh, take it to the ups and get it weighed. All right, y'all, we got it all cleaned up here. Looks great. So, looks good. We're good to go. Let's go get it turned in. Weigh it up. Yeah, this is better. This is a more accurate reading. Hang on a minute. Zero out here. Come on. There you go. Zero. Eighteen pounds. That's more accurate. That's why that other one kept creeping up. So eighteen is what we got for this. Let's go get it weighed officially. Thank y'all. Right. Appreciate that. That saves well, me. The old well, this is going to be the new and the old one, I guess. We just cleaned this up right here a little bit. Went ahead and removed quite a bit of that out there. You guys can see the water, it's still just pouring out of that. So I don't, I don't think it's gonna be here much longer. Uh, it's pretty, it's, it's a massive stump, y'all. That thing is just, it's as big around my bicep, but um, I mean it continues to grow. But we're not trying to grow that. We're trying to grow the, the uh, fruit. And the fruit we gained 25 pounds last night. So I mean it gets growing, but. There's so much wrong with this plant. You guys see the new growth trying to come up and stuff. You know, you got good new growth coming on, but it's, I just don't know if we should leave it or not. I think what I am going to do though tomorrow is on this side, I'll probably leave the, the main vines down or not the mains, but the secondary vines. I'm probably going to go in there and, and clip all those bad and yellow, um, uh, leaves off i'll leave the vines now i mean look at this look at this secondary vine right here y'all that secondary is massive look how big that secondary is i mean there's some people ain't got mains that big that's a freaking secondary that's a massive secondary and i've cut tertiaries off that thing look here this is a tertiary right here that's a tertiary look at that tertiary do you see this tertiary y'all look y'all don't believe me there's the stump secondary 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 keeps on going that's a tertiary that is a massive tertiary y'all i mean that thing is just it's a beast and that's why i left it there because it was so good i mean i ever got i got i've got like i said i've got tertiaries that are bigger than some people's mains it's just crazy and the plant was a great plant, and then all of a sudden it just went downhill. And I don't know what happened to some of these secondaries. Some of these, look at this secondary right here. That's a little one. That's a little one. Then a big one. Then a little one. Then a big one. Then a little one. Then a big one. Then a little. I I don't get it. I just don't get. It. Look at this. Look how big this secondary is. Huge secondary right there. Right. I don't get it at all. I don't understand <clears throat> what has transpired. What happened? Why that pumpkin didn't pack on the weight like it should have. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. It does not make sense. That pumpkin, <clears throat> that pumpkin should be a thousand pounds, 1200 pounds. I mean, I, it just, it should be, but it didn't, it didn't do it. And then it started foaming stump. And when I got the foaming stump, it started slowing down. And like I said, it did pick up weight last night. Pretty good. 25 pounds last night. It had been down in the seven pound range, seven pounds a day. It jumped up to 25 last night, so that's pretty good, but I don't understand it, I don't get it. It don't make any sense to me at all how this pumpkin being 
as big as this is, as big as the plant is, as big as the main is, everything about it is so big. Why it's not doing real great. And uh <clears throat> and why the rest of this plant uh is, is not doing real good, right? But yet, I mean, it don't make any sense to me why this plant is so big and doing and had done pretty well, right? And then how that plant over there is very, very, very small and it's growing a massive fruit over there, right? I mean, that thing there is just massive. So I don't get it at all. I don't, I don't understand it one bit. Boy, whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is, I guess. So I don't know. I don't know. Pumpkin growing is one of them things you just kind of got to scratch your head at sometimes and say, well, I don't understand that because I really don't. Because this thing, this plant here is three times the size of that plant over there. The, 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 the size of the plant, like the size of the, of the main, the secondaries, even the tertiaries are bigger than that plant over there. That plant's kicking tail. And this plant here is just like, meh. I don't know. I don't get it, so... We got a couple back here growing on it. Now we're going to try to grow three for the kids, one for us. And we wrote their names on them, so we'll try to grow those and see what they'll do. But like I say, I'll probably go in here and take all the leaves off of this on this side, on this side of the plant. I'll probably take all these leaves off, all the bad leaves, get them all out of there and everything. Leave the vines, let the vines do what they're going to do. Got all this new growth. Right here, you can see all this new growth starting up. And it looks great. The new growth is beautiful growth. Yeah, so just let it take off and do its thing. And maybe let it finish the season and see what it'll do. So, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to pull it if it's going to do 25 pounds a day. You know, because I was going to pull it until I measured it. And you know, it was doing seven. And, and then I measured it. They said 25. So, I guess I'll leave it. But, I don't know. It's just some weird stuff going on this year. So, anyhow... We're going to get out of here. We're going to go over and fix that pumpkin. I'll show you that pumpkin, what it's doing. Got some issues over on it. I'll show you how we're going to fix them. And we're going to get out of here. All right, guys. You can see here we got a split halfway into the stem. A little bit on the shoulder. Goes right there and stops. We're good to go. And right, we'll show you how to clean this up. All right. And hopefully stop this crap from continuing on. I've had this happen before. And I made a mistake on how to fix it, but we ain't going to try to make that mistake again. So let me get this all cleaned up and show you how we're going to fix it. Okay, guys, so we got this one cleaned out. Then we've got that one I just found. So we've got this really bad one here, and we've got that really bad one down there. So I'm going to have to use my camera and get this all cleaned out, disinfect it, and then we'll bring it back. All right, guys, let me show you all. It's pretty much healed itself up there pretty good. You can see there. It's really not that bad looking. So, I mean, I, I, I don't think we're too bad off. So, we'll let that uh, the air be able to flow from this top hole down through there. I'll put one of my really good fans on it. Keep it dry, keep it healed up, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let it do its thing. Hopefully it'll heal up, figure out how to keep it dry and stuff. So uh, I think we're about as good as we're gonna get this right here. It looks like it's been here for quite some time. So just didn't know it was there. All right, guys, on to the next. So I'm gonna leave these alone. I'm not gonna put any kind of cuts in them right now. I think we just keep them cleared out, cleaned out. They'll be fine. I think they'll heal up. So we're going to spray them. I was going to take and put a cross cut here. I was going to take and split it a little bit and cross cut it. And take the same here and cross cut it right here. Go up and come across. And the same thing down on the bottom. But I don't think we need to. Looks like it's healing up pretty good on its own. Less intervention, the better, I think. So let's just do that. Let's just have less intervention and more healing of the pumpkin we'll spray it with good bleach solution and uh we'll put a uh, nice good fan on it maybe two fans on it and just let it let it work so 
All right, guys, uh, on to the next. Okay, guys, so got the big box fan on. Got our vent fan on there. Vent fan's going directly down under that, uh, or through that hole. I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit better. But then this right here is just extra airflow, just to keep that entire area dry. It's got a box fan for the whole area. And we got the ventilation fan, inline fan for a more direct approach to blow straight through that entire section. So it'll blow through the top, go through the bottom. Hopefully that will keep it good and dry. We'll see, um, you just never know. So yeah. what can you do, right? Um, plant ain't very big. Uh, I think there's only two secondaries out there uh, from this plant, the rest of it. And I'm gonna have to get in here and take a lot of this plant out of here that belongs to the 1016 because uh, it's causing me a lot of issues now. So I'm gonna have to get that out of here and just let the uh, let this 1533 reed take over that area. You can see right there is the stump. The stump's not very big. Right there, not a very big stump at all. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty little, a pretty little plant. Um, yeah, so anyhow, so I just done the numbers on this and uh, it could hit, um, 1500 pounds by the 15th of September. So um, you know, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, you know, give or take, but not by much. Um, so we'd really like to get it somewhere that we could get that uh, weighed. It's super wide, super, super wide. I've never had a fruit like this. This is an awesome fruit and I wanna really keep it going. So hopefully we will, hopefully there's no issues. Hopefully this will dry out. Hopefully we'll get some good hot sun the next couple days. That'll help dry it out and scab it over. Uh, and then uh, just keep it keep it rolling from there. The numbers are really doing good. I'm, I'm very, very pleased with this pumpkin. Very, very pleased with it. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. So, all right, guys, we'll get out of here. So uh, you know, just uh, hopefully we'll keep you updated on it. Hopefully it'll keep on rocking and rolling. I don't know if it will or won't, but we can hope. So, anyways, uh, we'll see you next time right here in Hollerton Hills of West Virginia, y'all. Don't forget to smash that like button. That notification bell. Don't get the door. Good job. Here you go. Thank you. Don't get the door. Don't forget to share. Yep. There you go. Good job. And, and subscribe. subscribe.